वेलकम टू ओ एस डी जूनियर साइंटिस्ट फोरम एट ओ एस डी डी ओपन लैब इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस बैंगलोर टूडे वी आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग ऑटोडॉक टूटोरियल यूजिंग एम जी एल टूल्स एंड द टूटोरियल इज डेवलप बाय नुफेल एंड कामिनी स्टार्ट विद द ओवर यू ऑफ द टूटोरियल वेयर वी विल बी मेनली डिस्कसिंग अबाउट फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स वी विल स्टार्ट विद द प्री रिक्वेस्ट साइट्स वेयर वी विल एक्सप्लेन वॉट ऑल थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म डॉकिंग second we will introduce about the autodoc file formats then we will discuss how to prepare protein and ligand for dokin then we will also explain how to set a grid box and dokin parameter files and then we will explain how to perform dokin parameters and grid box parameter file in sigwin command line then we will explain how to prepare dokin output file using command line and lastly we'll explain about how to use a uh, visual 3d visualization tool to uh, visualize the final doc file let's start with the prerequisites following are the prerequisites for autodoc for autodoc protein structure should uh, should be in the form of pdb format and ligand optimized 3d structure all, uh, can either be in pdb format or in mol2 format also one should know the number of uh, residues present in present in the active site of protein and uh, uh, secondly uh, autodoc software and autodoc suite is required autodoc software can be downloaded from mgl tools and autodoc suite is required for command line operation then we will also require sigwin command terminal and any 3d visualization tool next is autodoc file format Autodoc requires some different file formats as input for docking. First is .pdbqt. Protein and ligand to be docked should be in .pdbqt format. Second is .gpf format. That is auto grid parameter file. Third is .dpf. That is docking parameter file. Also, Autodoc provides some different output formats. First one is glg. Uh, that is grid log file when we run autodoc parameter file it will give the output in the form of glg that is grid log file next is dlg that is uh, docking log file when we run docking parameter file we will get obtain uh, output in the form of dlg that is docking log file and at last when we want to analyze our result dlg format should be converted into pdb format which contains protein and ligand with lowest energy conformation next is protein and ligand preparation we will start with protein preparation in order to prepare protein pdbqt file following step should be followed first uh, go to read molecule in autodoc and open the protein pdb file and then go to edit and select the option delete water after that go to edit and select hydrogens and after that click on add hydrogens and also we have to select the hydrogens that are only polar next is again go to edit then click on charges and click on compute gesture it will add some charges next go to edit and then click on atoms and click on assign ad4 type then go to file and click on save and give any uh, file name with the extension pdbqt and then we can see that our pdb file is ready uh, pdbqt file is ready for docking now to prepare ligand molecule go to ligand select input and choose open and then we can select our ligand file once the ligand file is selected the software will automatically add the charges and hydrogens as it has already been set for protein next is go to ligand select torsion tree and choose root after that again go to ligand select torsion tree and choose detect root now go to ligand click on output and uh, click on save as pdbqt 
Now the ligand molecule is ready with PDB duty format.